vulnerable children and families in Syria received aid from Europe. The country's need for humanitarian assistance has been magnified by the COVID-19 pandemic. The United Nations Children's Fund, or UNICEF, has received funding from multiple donors, including 1.5 million euros from the European Union, a Shining World Leadership Award for Peace recipient, and a Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion, Unconditional World Care, and True Caring Laureate. The money will allow children and mothers to receive supplemental nutrition as well as advice on infant and young child feeding. Water systems will be repaired so that approximately 450,000 individuals can have access to safe water. Self-learning materials will also be distributed to youngsters who are either not attending school or at risk of dropping out. Our sincere appreciation, European Union, and all who contribute to the well-being of others. May the kind Syrian people soon see the dawn of peace in heaven's enduring compassion. Self-isolation helps slow the spread of COVID-19. Researchers at Brown University in Rhode Island, United States, wanted to determine the effect of stay-at-home orders on the time it takes for the number of infections to increase twofold. In March 2020, before lockdowns were mandated in the USA, it took only 2.68 days for coronavirus cases to double. In April, after citizens were asked to limit non-essential activity away from their residence, the national doubling time increased to 15 days on average, indicating a much slower infection rate. The study's authors acknowledged that seclusion was not the only factor responsible, but they hope the public will view government health measures as worthy of consideration and compliance. Thank you, Brown University researchers, for quantifying the significant benefit of remaining at home during a pandemic. May people further protect themselves by making plant-based food choices that respect life and promote health. Researchers apply technology to save dying coral. Coral reef ecosystems are in decline around the world due to climate change and warmer oceans. Restoration efforts today have been small-scale, labor-intensive, and slow. Dr. Tyreen Foster, a coral biologist at the California Academy of Science in the United States, wants to streamline the process of reef regeneration. She has founded a company called Coral Maker that will repurpose manufacturing technology to mass-produce live corals. Production begins with a dome-shaped coral skeleton that has holes for live seed plugs. Inserting the plugs can be automated and the base of the skeleton is designed to easily attach to a reef. Once in the ocean, the seeds will grow to cover the skeleton within months instead of years. Congratulations, Dr. Tyreen Foster and Team Coral Maker. May your creative approach help preserve reefs for future generations, while humanity improves its stewardship of Mother Earth. The Netherlands pursues program to improve citizens' health. In 2018, the Dutch government enacted its National Prevention Agreement to make the country a healthier place to live. The document addresses the three leading causes of illness, smoking, obesity, and excessive consumption of alcohol. For example, according to the plan, tobacco prices have increased almost 20% in 2020. Smoking products that contain nicotine must have generic packaging and may not be displayed at points of sale. Additionally, all school grounds, playgrounds, and childcare locations must be smoke-free. These measures are designed to reduce the number of adults who smoke to 5% of the public and ensure that by 2040, children will no longer start smoking. The Netherlands is a Shining World Leadership Awards for Compassion and Humanitarianism recipient and a Shining World Leadership Awards for Earth Guardian and Animal Protection Laureate. Wonderful news, Netherlands. May your nation's health continue on the upgrade as you implement the complete agenda of protections in celestial celebration. Conservationists mobilizes communities to revive polluted water bodies. In 2007, Arun Krishnamurti founded the Environmentalist Foundation of India, or EFI, for the purpose of cleaning up freshwater lakes and ponds around the country. Removing garbage and invasive vegetation not only yields more clean water, but also rehabilitates the habitats of native flora and fauna. 
In the past 13 years, an increasing number of people have helped with EFI's restoration projects. Arun is passionate about raising public awareness about the importance of water and has attracted the participation of close to 60,000 volunteers. He says it is essential to engage the populace so that behaviors change and clean bodies of water are maintained, thereby increasing the amount of groundwater available for everyone. Or delighted applause, Arun Krishnamurti and EFI, for your earth-protecting efforts. May spiritually rich India be forever blessed with life-giving water in the embrace of the province. Four thinking businesses partner to revolutionize packaged food. Perfect Day and The Urgent Company, both headquartered in California, United States, have introduced a new retail category called animal-free dairy. Essentially, whey and casein proteins are being synthesized from fermented microbes to create products that have the taste and texture of conventional dairy, but none of the downsides. So far, eight flavors of ice cream, including vanilla and cookies, buttery pecan, blueberry pie, raspberry white truffle, and hazelnut chocolate chunk have been launched under the brand name Brave Robot. Currently available online and at select grocery stores in the United States, these frozen treats are a prelude to a variety of new vegan options that are being developed with health and sustainability in mind. Way to go, Perfect Day and The Urgent Company. May your noble ideals and innovative ways help establish a more enlightened consumer ecosystem in divine wisdom. Rain helps elephants to multiply in Kenya. The survival of the world's largest land animal was once threatened by habitat loss, land use pressure, and rampant poaching in this East African nation. In 1989, there were approximately 16,000 of the gentle giants remaining as the government clamped down on poachers and ivory smugglers by imposing larger fines and longer jail terms. The elephant population began to rebound. Another significant factor was that in 2018, after years of drought, the land started receiving bountiful rainfall and vegetation for grazing reappeared. By the end of 2019, Kenya Wildlife Service counted 34,800 of the mammals, and by August 2020, 170 more cats were born in Amboseli National Park. Kenya is a shining world leadership awards for protection and compassion laureate. We celebrate with you, Kenya. May heaven grace your amiable people for cherishing the gentle elephants. Now, more than ever, the world needs their unconditional love and blessings.